Just wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been doing here. Um, this is a hobby project I just started. So the first computers I ever used or programmed were based on the 6502 microprocessor. And I've decided to um, build one of my own. So design and put together a little 6502 based single board computer. Um, I normally do software. Hardware is not something I've done for years and years. So this is a voyage of discovery for me. Um, so this is the very first step because I'm taking this very slowly and doing it just like one piece at a time. This is what's called free running. So the setup here is here's our 6502 processor. Um, over here is the reset circuitry and this is the clock circuitry. So that little crit can there is generating a one megahertz signal. Um, I'm tidying it up with some flip flops in here, which also reduces it by half, which means the processor is only being clocked at 500 kilohertz. Um, I might change that later because it's not clear it's necessary. Um, and so the deal here with the processor, if we look in a little closer, um, you can see here I've got the address lines and the address lines have just been tied directly to the um, code for hexadecimal EA. Um, and that code, that's the, uh, the hex for the opcode no op or do nothing. Um, and so basically what the processor does is, you know, it sort of keeps trying to fetch instructions from memory and um, and execute them and the only thing it ever gets back on the data bus as an instruction is EA that is do nothing and so then it does nothing and then it moves on to the next instruction um, which means that the address lines which are largely disconnected here the address lines are just looping from 0 to 65536 through the entire address space um, over here some LEDs are attached to the top four bits of the address lines so um, so we can see them flashing on and off so this is basically like the world's most complicated way to flash some lights. Um, another way we can, conf but the, what those lights do is they confirm that everything's working and that's what we wanted. Another way we can see that everything's working is by checking out that, um, looking at the lines more directly with um, a multimeter here that's, um, that's measuring frequency. So I've got it plugged into one of the address lines and it's showing us um, a signal of about eight kilohertz. And if I put it into the next, higher address line, it switches to about four kilohertz. And if I put it into one more, whoop, it shows us about two kilohertz. So that's what we'd expect. We'd expect the address lines to be in a sort of binary relationship. Um, and so this confirms that everything is going, um, which is great. And the next step is going to be to add um, an EEPROM down here and uh, get us running some very simple program direct from memory. And we still won't have any I.O., so we'll probably still be using some um, flashing LEDs just to know that everything's going on. So that's what that's what will come next.